What's going on, y'all? That's where you guys said another one take review. It's your boy Big Dog back with a review for Wonder Woman Bloodlines. Uh, another film out of the DC film animated universe. I guess we're going to say DC's animated universe, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I got. I thought this film was. I thought it was great. I think DC kills it, crushes it, knocks it out the park, whatever you want to say, every single time with that animated stuff. Uh, the films are starting to catch up too, which, which is going to be great as well. But like, this is probably like my favorite universe of everything, you know what I'm saying, as far as films and stuff go. So, and I have to, just watching it, I didn't, I, like the trailers, I'm like, okay, I'm not really interested in these trailers. I, like Wonder Woman's probably like top three favorite uh, DC uh, uh, not characters, but like female characters. If she, she if not number one for me, uh, I should love Gal Gadot in the role. But what I saw in this is probably the best Wonder Woman film to date. Like, just period. Because it's, it's an hour twenty minutes or so. Uh, but it it go it has a lot to do with like Wonder Woman's uh, uh, a rose gallery, which like she they 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 play, use a lot of the characters. Basically, the story is it tells like the origin story of Diana and how she gets to her, how she comes in and and, and and not not how she joins the league, but like what's going on with her because this is not this this. this does not involve any other league members. It's it's how Steve Trevor landed at the mascara, how she came went back to the world so she can try to protect it, uh, how her leaving the mascara had made her having a falling out with uh, Hippolyta, all of that. And it's like it shows how she first get the the suit we see her wearing now, like the blue and silver. Uh, we see that we see the original costume. I when I say run and, and like I, when I say I run through like her rose gallery, it gives us. Silver, uh, Silver Swan, Giganta, uh, Cyber, uh, uh, Dr. Poison, um, Cheetah, and Medusa. That's six Wonder Woman villains, like, and I think they're all utilized great, uh, in certain regards. And they actually have another, the, another villain is just, I, I think you need to you watch the film man, to, to see who that is. But like overall, the, the fight scenes are always great in this. The story was great because you we never got to see what, what Wonder Woman came from in this universe, but, but this is that story. And like we get to see like why she's connected to certain things, certain things that happened that affected her. And it's done very, very well. Like everybody who's a part, everybody who's in this film was like views where that Etta Candy as yeah, Steve Trevor. Uh uh and they have two new characters that you well yeah, two new characters that you meet and you see how they play a part in like why Diana cares so much about like, you know what I'm saying, the world. And like just the relationship between her and her mother is 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 I just think it's a very, very well done Wonder Woman film that utilizes so some of her lesser known villains to, to like make you think like, hey, I, I would like to see more. Like it's just intriguing. It was just very, very good. It's like, and then the thing about these with that hour and twenty minutes, you just it's basically four episodes and or something, and like it works. It lands. Everything lands. The action lands. Uh, Diana's fantastic. Uh, you you understand a lot of the reasons why characters make certain decisions. Uh, some something has something that kind of cliche, but like for this for an animated uh, film, it works totally. Overall, I just I thought I thought it was a very good and enjoyable film, and uh, probably like I said, the probably the best Wonder Woman film to date. Uh, you guys, let me know if you thought about it down in the comments. If you've seen it, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace.